We're in Northern California today, prepping some ground for some new walnut trees. What you're looking at is a D10 Caterpillar. That tractor is about 160,000 pounds and about 550 horsepower. Behind it is a steel shank. What we're doing is called ripping. We're ripping the soil down to about a six foot depth with that shank. Behind that shank is what we call a slip plow. What the slip plow does is two things. One, it actually is what its name implies. It slips the soil upwards. Over the years, years, eons, as the soils were developed, uh, soils were developed in layers. So as you go down through the soil, there's different stratas, different layers of different types of soil. Trees don't like growing with those type of impediments. So what we do is take the uh, slip plow, bring the soil from the lower layers up, and mix it with the other, other layers. The shake on that ripper is six inches wide at the top and about 18 inches uh, wide. So it's a pretty stout piece of material. Down below, it has a boot on it, and that boot makes that shank 12 inches wide. So that is a lot of resistance down in the ground, and that resistance is transferred into shattering. And that ground is shattered outward and upward in two different directions, really breaking up that soil. As you can see here in front of me, you can see the different colors of soil. Uh, there's a real intense red, and then there's kind of an ashy gray look. The ashy gray look soil is uh, topsoil, and that was uh, what was been farmed over the years. The red soil that you see, that's the stuff that was brought up by that slip plow. We uh, rip ground for uh, several reasons. Uh, one, like I said, to mix the soil and that helps the trees grow better. Uh, the other reason is to have a larger growing media for the trees, meaning that if we didn't rip, the trees would grow in the top foot or two, and then they would hit the next layer and uh, more likely stop growing the roots. This way the roots would have six feet of growing media, uh, just like the homeowner. You transplant your um, flowers into larger pots, have more soil volume. That's exactly what we're creating. It's more soil volume, more nutrient holding capacity, more water holding capacity, uh, creates a longer lived tree.